Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you uh, the copy and paste elements and how to use them and exactly what they are. So if you go to the copy and paste elements folder, you'll see there's several files here. And what these things are, I'm just open them up in Photoshop elements. Okay, so what these things are is pretty much uh, pre-formatted things like text, bullets, and uh, click here buttons, so call to action buttons. And all of these things come pre-formatted with all of the you know, cool layer styles and effects, and all of the text is broken down into like sev several lines or it's at an angle. So if you don't know how to create your own uh, special effects for text, how to format the text, how to lay it out, I have it here ready for you. Okay, so there's you get all this text here, uh, just main headlines, smaller text, free, brand new, all kinds of different angles. You also get uh, bullets in different variations. So there's big bullets, small bullets. You know, vertical bullets, horizontal bullets, and you also get call to uh, call to action buttons, and all of these things are highly customizable, and you can you know put your own text into anything you want here. So, so let me just show you an example. Hmm. And the way they work is you basically you choose the element that you want you drag it into the master template you know put it anywhere you want to put it and then you know you can just put your own text in there okay so you you write your own text you position it where you want to position it and you can do that to all of these uh, different text elements here. Okay, so it's very simple to use. And you can also resize all of this stuff. You can make it as big as you want it to be. You can make it, you know, print quality if you want it, 300 dpi. You can rotate it. You know, you can move it anywhere you want to move it. So it, it works very simply. You just click on the element that you want and then simply drag it into your template. Uh, some of these text elements come on more than one layer. So, for example, this $9.95 a month has, uh, has uh, three, I mean, four different layers here. So if you want to use all four of these layers, you simply uh, highlight all of them, hold shift on your keyboard, choose like the top one, and then click on the bottom one while holding shift. And this will select all four. And now you can drag all four into your banner. And again, if you have all four selected, you can modify all four at the same time. So if you want to make it bigger, just click and drag in a corner and the text gets resized and you can you know rotate it in, in any way you want okay same thing here for the bullets uh, they come on several different layers so if you want to select the bullets that you want say these ones uh, click on one of the texts here then go go to the bottom of the layers palette and then uh, again highlight the text highlight the bottom bullet while holding shift and now you can drag this thing over into the banner and again you can resize this make it as big or as small as you want you can even resize each individual bullet to whatever size you want and they won't lose the quality so you can make them very big or very small you can you know you can pretty much use this for any kind of graphics not just these banners you can 
if you have like print graphics or ebook covers or headers you can uh, you know use all of these elements in your graphics like each part that you see here is customizable you can rotate them and pretty much make them look just the way you want them to look so there's a lot of things you can do here to play around with everything you can also change the colors and and a lot more and so the same thing goes with for the buttons here just choose the button that you want select the button, select the text by holding shift and then just drag it into the banner so you can put it at the bottom or you can put this one like in a corner somewhere okay so you get the idea yeah, for how these uh, elements work. They're pretty much all pre-formatted for you. All you have to do is click them, click on them, drag them over, and then just add your own text and rotate them and position them in any way you want. So just, again, play around with this uh, and see what you can do. And I'll see you in the next video.